Thanks for lending us Terry. Oh, you can borrow it. Appear to be. <laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome to Saints Peter and Paul. In a special way, we would like to welcome all visitors this weekend, and we hope that in this Mass you will come to know more fully the depth of God's love and mercy for you. This weekend we celebrate the second Sunday of Lent. And during this Mass, there will be a second collection to support the work of Catholic charities in our diocese. Thank you very much for your generosity. So let us stand together and pray the prayer of the Holy Spirit that can be found in the cards and the hymnals. Holy Spirit, may the same fire of love which inflames the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary inflame our hearts so that through prayer and boldness in word and ministry, everyone in our parish and our local community will encounter Jesus, grow in faith, and witness the faith in the word and deed. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask that you please replace the card in the hymnals where today's readings begin on page 887. Now please join in singing our gathering hymn, number 649, There is a Longing.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries on the second week of our Lenten journey, let us call to mind God's mercy and love, but also our own sinfulness. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my, my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, very ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O oh God, you have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son. Be pleased to nourish us inwardly by your word, so that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son Isaac, your only one whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust on a height that I will point out to you. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he <coughs> spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did, in not withholding me from your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
lifted, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I servant, I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will walk before the of the Lord in the midst for Jerusalem. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. How will he not also give us everything else with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us, who will condemn. Christ Jesus is who died, or rather, was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up on a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses. And they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say. They were ter so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice, This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. 
As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not a football fan, but I decided to watch the Super Bowl this year. And the Super Bowl was as good of a game as one could ever want from a football game. The refs did their job well. There was no bad calls. The, the coaches did their duty. There wasn't any like, oh my gosh, what were they thinking? Everything was just good. It went back and forth. It was a wonderful game. And afterwards, I didn't care. I mean, I mean, I didn't care about football before. I had this wonderful game, and I didn't care afterward. And it really disturbed me, because I thought, isn't that what happens to a lot of people when they come to church on these special days? Like, okay, the Christmas time, we have the wonderful uh, uh, service, All, the best music, the best uh, decorations, the best preaching, everything that we could possibly do to make this a wonderful experience, and the church is filled. And next day, it's empty. And likewise, we get it for Easter, Ash Wednesday, and maybe some other special day. And so I'm kind of wondering to myself, there's got to be some reason that maybe if I could an answer the question of why I don't really care about football, maybe I can come up with an answer <laughs> to why people don't care about Mass, even though you can sit, have the best experience ever. And part of the answer comes from this Lenten uh, uh, reading, because if there's any sort of good experience, it's this one. I mean, how much better can you get than Jesus transfigured before your eyes? And maybe you don't have the choirs of angels, but you have Moses and Elijah. How much more can you get? And then, of course, you hear people, well, I wish God would talk to me. Well, he did. Here he is. From the cloud comes a voice. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. And yet Peter and, and James and John really aren't that well changed. I thought about that. Okay, yeah, let's bring in the tents, maybe build a basilica or a stadium. But once they get down from that mountain, they argue among themselves as to who's the greatest. Once they get down from that mountain, they argue at the Last Supper, who's betraying Jesus? Once they get down from that mountain, Peter denies Jesus three times. Once they get down from that mountain, Peter has a hard time believing Jesus Christ rose from the dead as well as all the other disciples except the loved one. And so they weren't changed all that well from this experience either. So how do you change? Well, I got back to the football thing. Okay, how would I change? How would I, you know, theoretically go about actually caring? Well, the first one is give me a reason to. Maybe the reason is that my best friend is a football fanatic. Maybe I want to join with that, that friend in watching the game. Maybe it's just for community. Uh, I see so many people going to the bars and enjoying this. I want to be a part of that. Maybe it's just recreation. I just want something to take my mind off the troubles of my life. But once we make, say to that, that decision reasoning and we say yes, then I have to do something about it. Then I have to buy the sports paraphernalia. I'll buy the jersey. I'll buy the cup. I'll buy all those little things. I'll watch every game religiously. <laughs> I'll, I'll even then spend all my time researching. You know, oh, this guy is the backup quarterback. He's from this state. And spend all my time. And the more I spend my time into it, the more I get invested, and then the more I think I'll care. And now well, that's what happens to Peter. 
Peter is on, at the end of the Gospel of John. Jesus asked him three times, do you love me? Yes, Lord, you, do, uh, you know I do. And three times he's saying, feed my lambs, tend my sheep, feed my lambs. Peter is given the, the task of, of leading the church once more. He is buying all in, even to the point of death. And so he is, in essence, a true son of Abraham. This first reading about Abraham being willing to sacrifice his son Isaac means that he is willing to sacrifice everything that he loves dear. I mean, he had this child in, in his 80s. There's no chance that he's going to have another one. And yet he's being offered up and say, I'll give everything to you. And that's why he's the father in faith. And that's what our Lenten journey is about. Our Lenten journey is about, first of all, saying yes. Saying yes like our, our, uh, our uh, catechumens did last week to the rite of sending. Saying yes, I want to be a part of this church. And answering the question, why? Well, what does the Catholic Church offer you? Well, some of the answers are faith, eternal life, salvation, relationship with Jesus Christ. There's a million and one reasons that we could give. What is it for you? And after you answer the question and say yes, then we put it into practice. And that's where the prayer, fasting, and almsgiving comes into practice, where we are praying, spending time with Jesus, trying to build a relationship with him. We're giving alms to say that our neighbor is included, our, the wider community is included in, in our ministry, in our relationship with Jesus Christ. Because how can I love the God I can't see if I don't despise neighbor I can? How, and then finally, fasting. And really that means giving up my own will, just like Abraham did. As we are journeying towards the Lent, our Easter mysteries, at Easter we recommit once again to our baptismal vows, saying yes, three, yes to Jesus Christ once more. And in, in that, it's not just a one-day thing. By prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, and making our choice for Christ, it is a lifelong encounter. And this is how it's just a lifelong encounter with Christ. I believe in, in one God, God the Father, Father the Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven, heaven and earth, earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, Son of God, born of the Father, Father before all ages, God, God from God, God light, light from light, light true God, true God from true God, God begotten not, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Father. Through him all, all things were made, made for us men and for our salvation, salvation. He, he came down, down from heaven, heaven, and by the Holy, Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, Mary and became man. man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who at the Father and Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. We bring all our petitions before our Heavenly Father. For the leaders of the church, that they may love and guide us as Jesus would, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the vision we have been given to move peacemakers to speak, that their eloquence might fill the ears of world leaders, leading them to listen to the voice of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the poor, lonely, and the oppressed, that through our practical care, they may see the favored Son of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, we may find it joyful and uplifting to worship in the company of the saints of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are ill, they may find strength and consolation in their faith and inspiration by virtue of the transfiguration of the Son of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our dead, that they may enjoy the blessed vision of divine glory forever, including Ken Zampaglione, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and answer all our petitions for their offer through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, may the sacrifice cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Come up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory, to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. With the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Proclaim your temple, Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, with Peter and Paul, and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, 
on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. And may the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Thomas John, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you out there passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom, as our Savior taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you, John. Peace be with you, John. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away. The sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the, the word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Receive Jesus Amen. in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit me not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. i 
Sacred silence, holy ocean, gentle water washing over me. Help me listen, Holy Spirit, call and speak to me. Let us pray. O Lord, as we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers even now of the things of heaven. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A couple of announcements. Uh, our parish day of prayer in the 40 Days for Life campaign will be on Wednesday, March 20th at Hope Abortion Clinic in Granite City. To participate in this prayerful pro-life witness, see the bulletin for more information. And finally, please join us tomorrow for a holy hour before the Blessed Sacrament to pray for those that we know and love who have fallen away from the practice of their faith. The holy hour will begin at 1.30 p.m. and will include times of both guided and silent prayer. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. O Lord, bless your faithful with a blessing that endures forever and keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may, may always desire and at last attain that glory whose beauty he showed in his body to the amazement of his apostles. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Say